Hey everybody, I'm starting this project off with this garden flag that I got from Dollar General. And I will be using a pizza pan from Dollar Tree as my base. So first I'm just starting off with some folk art chalk paint in the color white. And I'm actually applying this all throughout the pizza pan. The only reason why I did that is because this flag is pretty translucent. So you could kind of see through it. So I wanted to make sure that the backing was just a matte finish color and not the shininess of the pizza pan. So now I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Ocean, and I'm just going around the outer edge of that pizza pan. And now in the center of the pizza pan, you want to just apply a generous amount of Mod Podge. Generous amount, but you also want to make sure that it is evenly distributed. You then want to allow that to completely dry, so I just put that pizza pan aside to let the Mod Podge dry. And then I'll be using a splatter screen that also came from Dollar Tree to trace out the size of the inside of the pizza pan onto that garden flag. Once that is traced out, you want to just cut that tracing right out. Now that the Mod Podge is completely dry, now I'll go ahead and just place that flag right on top. And then I'm just putting a piece of parchment paper right over the flag and then using my mini iron right on top of it. So what this is doing is reactivating that Mod Podge and then at the same time it's also ironing out any of the wrinkles or air bubbles that are on the flag. And this method works beautifully. It's so much better than you having to struggle with getting those air bubbles out by hand. So once that was complete, now I'm just using some nautical rope that also came from Dollar Tree. I'm just hot gluing that all around the inside edge of that pizza pan. And once that was complete, I got these 20 millimeter half wooden beads from Amazon. So this is just an easy way to color those beads. I like to put my acrylic paint in a Ziploc bag, spray in some water, give it a good shake. So it really waters that acrylic paint down. And once that's all shooken up, go ahead and just place the beads right inside, shake it again. And once all the beads are completely saturated, just dump them out and let them dry. I then just hot glued those beads all around the outer edge of the pizza pan. And once those were all glued down, I wanted to make the beads look a little bit more weathered. So I did just go over them with some antique wax and I just did a dry brush method right on top of them. Now that the pizza pan is complete, let's top it off with a cute messy bow so all this consists of is just grabbing some ribbon of your choice and then just putting it down in all different kind of directions so crisscross sideways left to right up and down whatever you want to do there is no rhyme or reason on how to do this you could put it as full or as little as you would like I like to hold mine together with a zip tie, so I just place it underneath the bow, kind of scrunch it up in the middle to make it a little bit easier to cling onto that zip tie, flip it upside down, and then you want to bend the ribbon and almost make a tassel out of it. And once it's still in the shape of a tassel, then you could go around it and cut off any excess. And once the bow was complete, I just hot glued it to the top of the pizza pan. And then I had this lemon. It actually came from Amazon. I just cut it in half and then just hot glued it to the top of the pizza pan. And there you go, guys. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. 
Thanks. Bye.